हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू कम सवाल जमी आदाब सलाम नमस्ते सत सरकाल नमस्कार कैसे हैं फ्रेंड्स वी लिव इन एन इरा ऑफ लो इंटरेस्ट रेट्स अल दो देर आर मैनी बेनिफिट्स ऑफ लो इंटरेस्ट रेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल मॉर्गेज रेट्स आर वेरी वेरी लो बिकॉज ऑफ द लो इंटरेस्ट रेट्स एंड आल्सो money has become very cheap because uh, the cost of uh, borrowing has gone down a lot due to the low interest rates but at the same time those people who have money and they want to put it into the bank to buy uh, some kind of a uh, saving account or a, a guaranteed income certificate like gic's the re- return on their investment is so 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 low uh for about uh, suppose if 100000 dollar is uh, a person has that and he wants to spend that, invest that money into a gic maximum he would get is about 1% per year so which is means that on a 100000 dollar investment that person is going to make only 1000 dollar in one year time so this means that return on uh, investments are also very low however uh there is a way where we can make around 8 to 9% return on our uh, investments and that way is to invest into etfs not very many etfs give you uh 8% return on your investment but there are few that i have selected and i also have invested into those etfs but please uh, remember one thing that i am not a financial advisor is just my own observation and it applies to me so i thought why not just share it with you and uh, discuss with you those small uh, uh, tip that what are the what are the etfs so i have uh, discussed here 10 uh, etfs they all are covered call etfs means they write a call option to generate extra premium and that's how they provide a higher dividend rate okay friends so these are the 10 uh, etfs that i have selected and they all give you uh, about 8 to percent 7 to 8 percent return on your uh, investment so these etfs are the lbs which is uh, brompton life and banks plate uh, that uh, etf invests into canadian insurance and canadian banks like uh, top 6 banks of canada and canadian insurance company like great west uh, life insurance or sun life insurance etc etc uh, i will be in the uh, next slide i will explain you how much return the this etf generates uh, etf another etf is kanoi eit income fund this is one of the very well respected etf it give you a return about 10% and this uh, uh this etf invest the money into financials 24% energy 23% healthcare 20% material 13% and all other uh, sectors about 20% uh the third one is uh, e etf is uh, e split corporation this is a very interesting etf because uh, this etf invest into enbridge but because it is a split uh, uh, etf means that they have two types of shares within that etf one is preferred share and the other one is common share preferred share means that when they have for the money they borrow money more money and at a fixed interest rate about 5% and then they invest extra money like i mean if there is uh, assets and they borrow more as uh, money so they generate more money and they pay to the preferred uh, shareholders around a 5% uh, interest and the rest uh, is distributed to the common share uh, holders so if i invest into a common share of uh, ens i will make more than 5% and if i plan to invest into enbridge so why not invest into ens uh, which is uh, which generates higher uh, return on uh, the investment compared to just buying to a co- common share of enbridge other etfs are like uh, BMO ETFs they are very well respected ETFs one is uh, BMO Canadian Banks Covered Call ETF 
ZWB. They invest, uh, this inv uh, ETF invests into Canadian banks. The other one is ZWG, which invests into Canadian equity around 6%, very small, but mostly into US equity of 64%, and then uh, other countries, including Europe, uh, about 30%. So that's also a very respected uh, ETF. Another ETF of uh, Bank of Montreal, BMO, is ZWC. If you are interested in Canadian equity, so that ETF invests into Canadian financials, 40%, Canadian energy stocks, 14%, communication, 12%, industrial, 10%, utilities, 10%, and materials, 7%. The next one could be uh, is uh, the BMO uh, US banks covered call. It's a very, very good ETF because it invests into U.S. financial, and since we know, uh, as we know that uh, U.S. Uh, banking sector is very volatile, so as a result of that volatility, covered call strategy works very fine for this uh, ETF, and it, it generates quite a good income. So it invests 100% on U.S. banks. The next one is uh, also BMO U.S. covered call ZWH. So that's uh, if you don't want to go 100%, you know, but make a part of uh, U.S. banks and also part of U.S. equity into various uh, sectors. For example, information tech, 25%, financial, 14%, healthcare, 13%, consumer discretionary, 11%, and communication services, 10%. So WH invest into U.S. equity completely 100%. The next uh, ETF is also BMO's ETF, that's the Utilities Covered Call ETF, ZWU. Uh, this is a very interesting uh, ETF because it's invest into Canadian equity and into US equity, but its main concentration is on utilities. So the share of utilities is 58%, communication uh, share for the investment is 24% energy, 18%. And finally, there is the, uh, another ETF is uh, Dividend 15 Split Corporation. It's a very interesting uh, uh, ETF because uh, it selects top 15 Canadian companies, which includes banks, energy, insurance, and communications. And then it also draws extra uh, uh, money to invest by splitting the share into preferred share and common shares. And that's how it writes uh, covered call and generates lots of income and provides income. The interesting part of this, all these 10 ETFs is that all these ETFs except DFN, which is the Dividend 15 Split Corporation, uh, or, and uh, LBS, which is the Brompton Life and Bank Split Corporation, all of the eight ETFs provided consistent dividend every month, even during the pandemic time. So they are very, very strong, solid ETFs. DFN, uh, which is a dividend 15 split corporation, suspended the dividend only for three months. And uh, Life and Bank split corporation uh, ETF suspended only for four or five months. So other than that, they are all very respected, very solid ETFs. So let's see how much will you make if we spend, if we invest $100,000 into buying these ETFs. So how much would I get monthly? Okay, friends, so here are these 10 ETFs that generate uh, an income of $700 of uh, $100,000 investment. So if you have $100,000, invest it into these 10 ETFs. On average, you'll make around $700 every month, which is around 8.5% return over the year. Uh, there are LBS, which is the Life and Bank Split Corporation, generates an income of $102 because if you invest $10,000 and buy uh, 1,021 units at the price of $980, $9.80. Uh, same 10,000, you, if you uh, invest into uh, Kanoi EIT Income Fund, you will make 779 units, which will generate uh, an income of $78 per month. So the return is 9.3%. Uh, ENS, which is a split corp uh, e-split corporation for the Enbridge, 
generates uh, an income of 9.9% uh, .9 and that's uh, on a monthly basis about $83. For uh, BMO Canadian Bank's covered call ETF, uh, the return is uh, low because the reason is that uh, ZWB, ZWG, ZWC, ZWK, ZWH and ZWU, they all follow a, a covered call uh, strategy in which they only call, write the call options for 50% of their stock value, not the 100% or so that's why there is a more possibility of a growth in these ETFs compared to other ETF like EIT or ENS or uh, DFN. So the this uh, return on the ZWB is 5.6%, ZWG, which is uh, a global covered call, uh, re return is 6.8%, and for high dividend Canadian covered call, ZWC, uh, it is 6.4%. Uh, ZWK, which is a US uh, bank's uh, ETF, uh, generates a little higher uh, uh, ETF compared to Canadian banks because of the volatility, so the return is 6.2%. For ZWH, which is a US covered call ETF, return is 6%. For ZWU, it's 7.4%. But DFN, its price uh, generates uh, around 15% return. So in total, we make $703. So overall, these 10 ETFs create around 8.5% return. Okay, so I, uh, this is uh, all about your $100,000 being invested into an ETF. So if you like the video, please uh, subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up. And there are many more videos on investment uh, I have made. And if you look into my playlist, uh, and the title is uh, uh, Investment Lovers, you'll find many interesting investment uh, videos. So uh, till next video, have a good day. Bye-bye.